I found the top 5 best underrated POIs that you can use in Duo FNCS this weekend. Starting off with number 5, let's head to this building right over here. Alrighty, so this is the 5th best drop spot. Obviously, out of the 5 that I'm covering, that means this is the worst. But we're gonna check it out, see how it how it's looking, and see if this is a POI that you should actually land at. Okay, so there's two barrels out here that you can get to start off right when you land here, I believe. Yep, this is a bot. We'll kill him real quick. And then, oh, I did get minis, so I probably shouldn't have popped those barrels. But, the thing about this place is it actually has seven barrels, so I am able to pop two, and then there are still five more for me to get all the way to full health from just the barrels. There's one here, one that I got down there, and I know where the two others are, but there is one that I am not sure where it's at. We'll have to find that one. But obviously, this is the worst of the five that I'm going to be covering, so if you want to see the very best drop spot that you should be landing at, make sure you watch to the end of the video. Alright, you want to hit this zip line right here, and then here are these two barrels that I've been talking about. But, just so you know, the actual stats of this little place to land at, there are 7 chests, 14 ammo boxes, actually a lot of ammo. There are 7 barrels, and I don't know ground loot because for whatever reason the website is broken and is not showing floor loot spawns. But yeah, that's about it. The main reason I put this place on the list is because of its position on the map. Obviously, as you can see, it's pretty central, which gives you a very good position for tournaments to just be, you know, pretty much secured on all your rotates. You don't have to go too far in any direction, depending on where the zone is. But yeah, that's basically it for the first peel. I think we're going to head on over to number four on our list. Alright, we are now headed to our second POI, which is the fourth best duo drop spot for FNCS, and this one is a lot better than number five. We're kind of taking a big jump here from five to four, but there is a bot landing with me. I'm going to take him out real quick, I think. Just run down here. These planes, by the way, actually give a pretty decent amount of metal, so if you're landing here for FNCS... Oh, oh he hit me. You probably want to take that into consideration. They give you... Well, that's only 16. I thought they were more than that, not gonna lie. But you get some metal from these planes. There's an ammo box here. And then this anchor here is very good metal. It's about 50 metal. And then you come in here. There's quite a lot of loot here, by the way. There are 18 chests compared to the 7 at the other place. There are 26 ammo boxes three barrels, and there are also two weapon cases that I'm going to be showing you after I loot this building that I think you should probably be able to secure as a duo, even though they're a bit farther away from most of the loot. We got some splashes here. Okay, now, if we go down outside this building, there's a little place here with another plane, more metal. You can get that if you want, which you probably should. Here are two of the barrels. We're gonna hit these real quick. Actually, I'm just gonna throw them off. And then, if you come up the hill this way, here is where you will get more weapon cases. Also, I just realized there are more than three barrels. There are two more right here that I didn't account for, so... That's that. Okay, no, these are the three barrels. Those other two were an extra two, so there are five barrels here. In here, as you can see, you get weapon cases, which drop very good guns. Wait, there's actually three weapon cases. Okay, so the website was wrong about that. I got a hand cannon and two ARs. So, as you can see, this drop is very good. If you land here with your duo, you will definitely get enough loot to go around. And there is pretty good metal considering that this map doesn't have much metal on it. But yeah, here we go. Let's head to our third most underrated drop. All right, here we go. We're headed over to our third drop which is, once again, a pretty good jump from a decent place to land to an even better place to land. This place has only one more chest than the other at 19, but it has 31 ammo boxes, which is just insane. As you can see already, there are three right there, another one right here. I got some shields to start off the game. Like, this place is really good. There are also 13 barrels here, which is 
actually just crazy. There's a safe right there for gold, like, this actually is a very good place to land, so if you're going to be playing FNCS this weekend, make sure you know about this drop. But as you can see, there isn't much more to this building than that. That's about all the loot there is here. There's obviously, you know, a lot of cabbage and vegetables and things you can get down here to heal up if you need to. There's also this place here with a, a chest and some of our barrels here, but the best part about this drop is what I haven't shown you yet, just over this way. Another reason this is our third best underrated POI is because nearby it has both a forecast tower and a bunker where you can get good loot and obviously forecast and spawn of course the one game that I'm learning here. But this forecast is one of the most common forecast spawns so if you landed here make sure you know about that because as you know forecast is very good and competitive but what you want to do is come this way towards this little tunnel here and there's some cabbage here in case you're ever in the storm but that's really not that important right up here you've got a chest and an ammo box chilling on the right you want to get those and then over here you have these barrels obviously as you can already tell, there's an insane amount of barrels here. You come in here, there's a little room here, there's more up here with some loot. Two more barrels, right there. An ammo box that I broke. Two more ammo boxes right here, there's just an insane amount of loot here. Coming down here, three more ammo boxes. In here, there is a chest, another ammo box. Like, look at my loot right now. I haven't even been picking up everything good, and I have some actually insane loot. Two more barrels right there. The one thing you're going to want to keep on your radar is that there will probably be people contesting you here because this place is so insane. You're just going to have to remember that as you push in so you don't, you know just get camped on because obviously that sucks every time okay so right over here is the bunker that you want to know about let me show you where it is on the map so right here this is where the bunker is over here this is the house you land at and this is the tunnel just so you know like where things actually are so i'm gonna wait and see if this bunker actually opens so i can show you just how much loot you can get from this drop spot with your duo in fncs this weekend okay so this bunker is actually going to open up so we're we're gonna see how much loot we can get with that but if you take a look down at my materials right now you will see that I have max wood and max brick but I don't have max metal and that's because there is something I forgot to show you guys I'll show you right now how much metal there actually is down in that little tunnel there's metal like literally everywhere you could get so much metal there with your teammate you and your teammate will both be able to get max mats max mats from this drop easily but here we go, the bunker's opening now, so let's go in and see what kind of loot we're looking at here. Okay, purple shotgun, we'll take that. Take that as well. Alright. Okay, nice, a good burst, we'll take that. Two more chests over here. Oh my, a gold pump. So you and your teammate could have a gold pump and a purple auto just from this little drop spot. It's underrated. Like I said, people don't really land here that much. So you're definitely going to want to know about number two and number one that we're going to head to right now. We are now in our top two best, most underrated POIs to land for duo tournaments this season. And here we are down at this little place that doesn't have as many chests as the last it only has 16 but it has a crazy 34 ammo boxes i'm gonna kill that bot but he's a bit too far away 36 ammo boxes as you can see there's one right there there's probably one in this room oh there's a safe right here too that's good to know about in case you need gold for your tournaments but there is more gold coming later as i explore this little poi there is a vault that i'm going to show you and there's also a launch pad that you can use if let's say you're here your duo gets like so let's say someone's camping on the island right your duo gets killed you can pad away so like you know the pad is very useful for that kind of thing but anyways let's kill these bots real quick that one didn't have the key card let's see is there one down here? No. There's that guy. That one has the key card. Also take this med kit. Alright. 
In this vault, it's not too impressive, but there is a rare chest. I got a sniper. That's very good for tournaments, especially because they nerf sniper spawn rates once again. But you also get two little chests and a lot of gold, which again, gold is actually very useful in case you go to a mod bench and you want to mod your weapons or anything like that. But yeah, pretty decent loot already, but let's go see what more we can get from this place. Okay, I looted basically the whole place. I left all the like the guns I found, except for the sniper, because I wanted to show you guys, look at just how many heals you can get from this place. Like, this is a lot. I have, you know, two bigs, three med kits, two splashes, and six minis, which is pretty good. You're definitely going to want to split those among you and your teammate. Obviously, you can't just have one person carry only heals. But here we've got our launch pad that you can use to rotate out of here. You can use it to go all the way over here. You could possibly go to the number three drop if you wanted. The launch pad will get you pretty far away from your drop. So good rotates, good loot. Let's head to number one to see what the best, most underrated duo drop for FNCS is this weekend. Okay, so here we are at the best underrated drop spot for FNCS. This is the one we've all been waiting for, and I know it doesn't look like much right now, but trust me, there's a bit of a hidden gem that makes this the most underrated POI that you should be landing at for FNCS. So starting off, we've got a chest here. I already have full shield just from that. But the thing is, I can keep my big pot and hold that because, you know, it's FNCS, I'm going to want my heals. So I'm going to hold on to that big pot because there are actually five barrels here that I'll be getting. But yeah, this place has only 14 chests total, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but, you know, it'll do for you and your teammate. There are 11 ammo boxes, 6 barrels that you can be getting, and there is a vending machine right here that you can buy ammo from. I don't really recommend buying guns, that's usually not worth it. But there's, yeah, a safe there, cash register there for you to get as much gold as you can to buy ammo. And then, besides all of that, there is one hidden feature that this place has that none of the other four underrated POIs had. And that is that this place actually has 14 fishing holes. I know that might not sound like a lot, but if you don't know how many 14 fishing holes is, I will show you. So what you want to do is leave this little place and head north. You can get the floor loot there on your way. And come down here. I recommend stopping at these bricks down this hill because... Oh, hold on. We got a bot shooting at us. But yeah, I recommend stopping at these rocks down here because there are three chests here. There's a bit of ground loot and a lot of brick. There's actually enough brick here for you and your duo to get max brick. So yeah, you max your brick down here. There's a med kit. I'll drop my mini for that. One of the chests didn't spawn, but there are three here. And I'm actually going to take these EMPs over. Let's just do my med kit because I'm going to get plenty of floppers. All right, so now that I've made the rotate back from where I, I landed all the way over to here, this is where all the fishing holes are. And this is where there are three more barrels that you can get to top off your shield with your duo. And then you might be wondering why I took the EMPs, but this right here is why. Watch this. Bang. Four floppers, a lot of small fries right here. I can throw another. Uh, three shield fish, three floppers. Like, it's just insane how many fish you can get from this drop. Let's just, I'm going to fish everything and show you just how many fish you actually get landing here. Okay, so I've done a bunch of fishing and over here we've got two shield fish there. Three shield fish there, you can't see. Three shield fish there, four floppers there, two floppers there, three more shield fish in my inventory, and four more floppers. And I'm not gonna lie, I've landed here in tournaments before and I've gotten way more fish than this. So this is like, I'd say minimum amount of fish you and your duo should be walking out of here with. Obviously the storm's coming because in solos you fish a lot slower than you do in duos. But if you look down at my materials real quick, you'll see that I'm missing a lot of metal. Well, 
if you look around, what do you see? A lot of metal. You can have one person fishing while another person farms, and you can easily farm 1,000 metal, which is enough for obviously you and your teammate to hold while the other teammate fishes. So that is why this place is easily number one most underrated best POIs that you and your duo should be landing at for FNCS this weekend. Obviously, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, and I would appreciate if you did subscribe, but yeah, let me know in the comments which place you thought was the best. I'm assuming it'll be number one, but if not, just let me know what you thought was the best, and let me know if you want more videos like this in the future.